Yeah. Okay. Um, hi, uh, we're uh, Jim and Kim Rindress, and uh, we... Um, Front the band Rindress, and it's like rhinestone dress. It's, it's like, that's, that's the... Uh, or, that's or, how you pronounce it. Or Rhin rhino, rhino oh, rhin dress. Rhinestone cowboy. Yeah. yeah. And if you look around this rhinestone house, you will dress. find probably... 50? 50 rhinoceroses. Yeah, because but there's nothing rock and roll about not rhinoceroses. Anyway, I play keys mm -hmm. and I play bass. Yeah, um, I, I play I play guitar generally. Um, I, I do uh, I do play other instruments, but guitar is is, is my my main instrument. And it's a beautiful play. clear day. You know what I oh, mean? Yeah, it's out. yeah, it's a beautiful day. The, the, I, the I, I've settled on six guitars I'm bringing. Yes, nice. <laughs> six. Only six. So yeah. I'm leaving. Keep you know, I'm leaving. But, and a strip down pedal here. board, right? Yes. <laughs> and, and a strip down pedal board. Or did you? Did you are you just taking the whole No, I'm just taking the down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Notice the double guitar cases. Each one of these has got two guitars in it. Yeah. This Kim, of course, helps me with things because my lower back is made out of potato salad. And gear is heavy. Yeah, that is. Unfortunately. Yeah. We're on our way. Vibe. It's a good feeling. I think it's going to be a great show. So are we ready to have a great time tonight? Us too. You know, you know, guys, um, I was talking to my best friend Toye, and he was talking about, um, you know, home is where the heart is. And almost every person in this valley we love is in this room. So... And the, and the ones who couldn't be here with us have sent... We've had a flurry of messages and emails and phone calls and people saying, you know, we love you. We're sorry we can't be there here. And, you know, it's all good. We just, we feel the love, and we're just so tickled that you're all here. Tonight. So if, if uh, Home is Where the Heart is, I feel like I'm welcoming you into our living room. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Absolutely. And, and I think it's time for us to ask our amazing band to come join us on the stage here and fill up these instruments. We're incredibly blessed to be joined by Mr. Bob Silversides on keys. Right? Yeah. Cyril Sherman on bass. Scott Evans on drums. Guy Pizzolatto on uh, rhythm guitar. And, 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 and a, a special guest for the very first song. For the very first song, Mr. Leo Duty. Yeah, my good friend Leo Duty, who played, uh, played the born on, on, our, uh, on this tune in the studio. And yes, we just learned that it's actually pronounced Bowron. Bowron. I've always said Bodron, and then that's apparently quite wrong, so Bowron. And he'd know because he's got one in his hands. So uh, Canada begins and ends with the ocean. Uh, so it was incredibly uh, meaningful for us to have written our very first song in Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. We were just coming out of a yacht club. We were looking for live music and we went into the yacht club to ask if they knew where we could go to see, because Cape Breton uh, is, a, is tiny and Bedeck is super tiny in Cape Breton. And sure enough, they pointed us in the right direction. And as we were leaving, this voice stopped us. And a guy yells out to me and he goes, hey, you want to buy that truck? I'll give it to you for free. So I look and there's a brand new three-quarter ton Dodge truck. And I'm like, excuse me? And he goes, if I didn't fish, I wouldn't even drive that piece of crap. So then he got my attention because I love fishing. And I said, oh, you fish? I'm a West Coaster. You know, I, I, lo I love to fish. He goes, oh, you guys can catch anything, can't you? And I said, if you have a license. But... So Eric was a third generation lobster fisherman and he was only 12 when he got on the boats. Yeah. And uh, he, his story really, really touched us. And uh, he, he talked our ear off for like 20 minutes and chain smoked about four cigarettes. <laughs> and then he said, ah, it's getting a bit dry out here. So he went back in because, you know, he needed another drink. So we were, we, we were so fascinated by him. Uh, we started writing the lyrics of this first song and the song is called 
Maritimers lament. This is the first song we wrote. Come get this thing. So we looked for Eric for a long time. Uh, we never knew his last name. Um, we just knew he was Eric from Nova Scotia. And uh, I tried to find him a bunch of times and um, couldn't. So once the song was properly recorded, um, we thought, oh, I'll give it one last try because he should hear the song that he inspired. Um, because he was really wondering what he'd done with his life was right and all of that. So um, we, I, I, I had the idea that he must have belonged to some kind of association. So I sent an email 
to the Nova Scotia Cold Water Fishermen's Association. Yeah, strange request. Yeah, strange request of our one of your members. And I sort of outlined the story and I put a link to the song that was on YouTube. And I got an email response like within a couple of hours. And she's like, I don't know who this is, but we have a pretty big social network. So I'll put it out there. And the very next morning... 4.30 in the morning, my phone rings. And you know how you think, who's calling me? And you look at the phone and it was from back east. And this lady's voice said, I think I found your lobster fisherman and I think, I think it's, it's my, my dad. dad. And exactly. Like, oh, I know, cool right? <laughs> I was like, whoa. Oh. So uh, she gave us Eric's number. We talked to her for a while and she's like, I've had your song on all morning. I've been dancing around the whole house and she just loved the song. Oh, she's so sweet. And so, so, it, so we call Eric and we talk to him for an hour and a half. And, and there he is. His name is Eric Marr. And uh, he has since given up his lobster license. He did that right before COVID, and COVID's been very hard on him because he wanted to do a lot of traveling and such. So we'd like to give a little gift to Eric. We, we'd hope to get a video message from him for our show, but he's a bit shy. Will you, will you guys help us on this? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we'd like you to say, I'm going to make a little video, and we'd like you to say on our queue, hi, hey, Eric, hello from Kelowna. Okay, can we so just try we, that with practice at once? Hi. Hey, Eric. Hello, Hello from Kelowna. Kelowna. All right, so. That's perfect. Yeah, so we're going to take All a right. little video. Okay, okay. Hey. Hey, Eric. Uh, Hello from Kelowna. Uh, Kim and I are just, uh, well, I don't know if you noticed this handsome guy in the back. We're in the middle of something, and there's some other people that would say Would like hi. to say hi. Hey, song is um, is about a couple that breaks up and then after enough time they decide they're going to come together and have dinner and kind of talk things through and figure out you well, know it's kind of a debrief and you know like what went right what went wrong and what, it, what happened except it turns into a literal debriefing so the song's called the wine's all gone and we wrote this in hawaii and there may have been some wine involved but it's a fun song Yeah. 
to take it quietly and slow. Are we together or is this the end? One night of passion and we walk away, friends. Is this forever or only one night? Can we make it last for the rest of our lives? for us to do. Yeah. Close those curtains and let the sparks fly. <laughs> wine. We do live in wine country, do we not? All right. There was a bet on how long I would keep this coat on. <laughs> Two. Two songs. <laughs> what we brought that there for. Somebody was like, should we take this off? I'm like, no, 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 that's for coats. I'm holding out for a little more because this jacket, like, come on, right? Yeah. It's a good jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and as her husband, yeah. Okay, and you gotta all look at Bob's shoes. Are those the best rock shoes ever? Come on. We dressed up for you all tonight. We did. We put some effort in here. You got fans, Bob. Uh, so uh, a lot of our songs are written on um, fictitious characters or people that we've met, but this next song is deeply personal for it's us. It's about as real as it can get. Uh, a few years ago, um, I uh, was talking to my doc, had some blood work, and uh, discovered that my uh, red blood cells were through the roof and it looked like I had cancer. And we were pretty sure I did for a while. Um, about, about a month later, we found out that I don't, I have, hold on, where is Toya? He can explain it, like overactive bone marrow or something. But for that month, uh, Kim and I thought we had, um, we had less time. And, yeah. it, really and it seemed so unfair because we were pretty new as a couple and you know, we finally found each other and, you know, what? Now we're making a bucket list of things because we maybe only have five years left. So Jim wrote this song in that time. Yeah. And uh, it was one of the first things he said to me when we first got together and we knew things were serious. One night we were FaceTiming and he said, my heart is yours. And I just went, oh, oh I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was in Vancouver and yeah. he was here and uh, there was just no turning back. So yeah, that's I the title of the song. Yeah, it was funny, actually. Kim and I were together for a week, and I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. You know. So, try not to get choked up. It's kind of embarrassing you get choked up doing your own stuff. It's like laughing at your own jokes, and I do that too. But here, here we go. My heart is yours. that party I'd hope that you'd be there I really want to talk to you but my feet won't take me there it was so damn easy before my heart chose you now I'm a stumbling fool with no idea what to do there's always been something like a seed inside of me that the sunlight of your smile has awakened and set free. Since my heart has changed, all my confidence is gone. It's so hard to talk to you, so I'm writing you a song. Could be 
fascinated by everything you do whenever you walk in the room my eyes are just drawn to you there's something in your voice that touches my heart and singing this song for you is my a beautiful song and you know it took a while uh, with that third verse uh, there are many years behind us and fewer yet to come before when Jim couldn't even look me in, in the eyes in that um, we'd both get too emotional so we're getting tougher now we're just, we're just <laughs> we're, like bitter you know old jaded married people now. Yeah, ele 11 years you know it's funny um, when I grew up my parents used to say you know marriage is hard work it's hard work it was for me for the first 25 years hasn't been with us turns out if it's really hard work Maybe your relationship sucks. No judgment. Yeah. But, but you know, in 11 years, we've never uh, had a fight, so... Um, we disagree is, every day. Yeah, and, a lot, uh, but... And one of us is usually wrong. Uh, oh, no, we're not buying into that old trope. No, no way. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the reason why that song doesn't resolve at the end is because the, in the writing of that song, that character, he's not sure. Yeah, this, this guy's sure. Yeah, this guy's sure, but that, that guy's not sure. Um, so the next song we're going to do for you is called No Room for a Ghost, and uh, this is like is a rocker, this, this one, so um, there's a lot of good energy to it. Uh, we call this the anti-Jolene song, and uh, for that, because it always bugged me in Jolene. It's such a great song, but it always bugged me, the character of that, like, you know, telling another woman, please don't take my guy, I can't compete with you, I'm just not that good, or whatever, and I just thought, I would never do that. And I don't know many women who would go up to another woman and say, come on, do me a solid, take that one, give me this guy, like, 
Anyway, so this song is called, it's about a couple who are in a good relationship and an ex-lover shows up. And this is what my character has to say to her. If you look at the background here, you can see this amazing thing that Henri did. Yeah. You've got the couple and you can just see the ghost to oh, the left. Yeah, so cool. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. Yeah, all of these uh, images you'll see behind us were done by Henri, uh, Henri Fournier, and he's just, just, just brilliant. He's adding so much. So. Yeah. No yeah give him a hand, please. Yes. And you'll see many more cool things tonight. So. You ready? You betcha. Let's do this. Solo, Mr. Reindress. Oh, thank you, guys. Woo! And now for something completely different. <laughs> you sounded exactly like my grandmother there. Come on, Jeannie. Jeannie, you're so skinny. You must eat. Yeah, my grandmother loved the fact that I could, if I was awake, I could eat. And still does. Yeah. 
Do you know how hard it is living with a man who can eat whatever he wants whenever he wants to eat it? It's just the worst. Ugh. Yeah. This next song, uh, we were wanting to write something that was um, like, you know, the old sort of vaudeville, almost like sort of British songs that, that are... Like, like um, um, uh, what was that show? Benny Hill. Uh, you know, something that would be on Benny Hill. Something that's kind of risque and, and cute without being like... But you know, the kids, the kids won't get it because it's yeah, written... Go in. right over their head. So we, we wrote the lyrics to this uh, song, which is the kazoo song, while we were walking up Knox Mountain. And if there were kids in the audience, they would think, oh, kazoos. And now with the adults in the audience, you may detect just a little yeah, something, we something <laughs> extra. Okay. Ready? So here we go. There's something I need to confess to you, a secret that I've told to very, very few. But now that we're together, it's time that you knew I really love to play with my kazoo. Complete disclosure and truth be told, the first time I played it, I was only 12 years old. With the door closed, alone in my room, hours on end, perfecting a tune. Cause you don't need to be a musician or a poet Just put your lips on it and blow it Now that I know ya, I really want to show you What years of practicing can do Shown me oh, what you like to do. I have to admit that I enjoy it too. It's such a relief to share this with you. So shall we both hum through a few? Yeah, we should. Cause you don't need to be a musician or a poet. Just put your lips on it and blow it. Now that I know ya, I really want to show you what when you Cause you don't need to be a musician or a poet Just put your lips on it and blow it Now that I know ya, I really want to show you What years of practicing can do so much guys so get yours at the merch table and the next time you're in the mood just leave it next to your bed and you'll your spouse will hear doo -doo 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 -doo, coming from upstairs and you can take care of the rest I see you're playing the thunder stick. Feel the power. <laughs> all right. The jacket's coming off. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I am. <laughs> it's too warm up.
So this song is one that's really dear to our hearts, but it is not on our album, and it is not for lack of trying. We've recorded this song twice, and both times it just, we haven't quite got it yet. It's, uh, we wrote it when I was living in Vancouver. Well, we wrote, th the beginnings of it was in, when I was living in Vancouver and Jim was in Kelowna. Well, we, we, were, we did a long distance thing for two of the longest years of my life. Yeah, it wasn't fun, and I worked in Yelltown in this sales job that just sucked the soul out of my life <laughs> every day I had to go in there. And uh, I went out for lunch to get something, and I went into a restaurant in Yelltown, and every single person at every single table was a couple. And I was just missing Jim so badly. And, you know, it was just one of those, nothing against them, but I hated them all. <laughs> <laughs> just life was so unfair. Yeah. And when we were talking that night on the phone, um, Jim said something really profound. I said, when you're lonely, it feels like the whole world's in love. And I said, well, that's a song. So that's where this song started, and that was 11 years ago. And it, uh, we didn't really put a tune to it, and we couldn't even def define really what the tune was until Bob um, uh, said, oh, that's gypsy jazz. And we're like, oh, okay. So that's cool. Nothing to do with rock or <laughs> country or blues or any of the other songs that are on our album. So now we have a gypsy jazz song. But uh, the song's called When You're Lonely, The Whole World's In Love. Not yet. I have some acting to do. We're going to we're going to act now. Just you only It's the only thing You're thinking of Everywhere that I go I see people Walking hand in hand Do they know what they have? Do they understand? It's a hurt you can't name Tired of feeling the pain as it comes back again. Numb and cold to the bone, all I feel is alone. All I want is a change, tired of playing the game, cause I've lost again. But I have to believe. That there's someone for me So I wait patiently I remember The feeling with a smile Holding hands in the dark And getting lost in each other for a while when the hours flew by we were so surprised we were out of time then i threw it away i keep reliving that day it's the hurt you can't name tired of feeling the pain as it comes back again All I feel is alone All I want is a change Tired of playing the game Cause I've lost again But I have to believe That there's someone for me If I can wait patiently Oh, 
holiday in the sun It's a table for one Second guessing and wondering why I wasted the years Now I'm alone here Medicating the lies It's a game I play too often in my mind Reinventing the day when I hurt you and was so unkind see your face everywhere in the coffee shops on the avenue wondering where you are and who's loving you it's a hurt you can't name tired of feeling the pain as it comes back again numb and cold to the bone all I feel is alone All I want is a change Tired of playing the game Cause I've lost again It's getting hard to believe That one day I will see Someone was waiting for me Thank you. And thank you to Guy for that amazing guitar solo, right? Guy! Yeah, it's just a wee bit different from the other songs on our album, hey? That's the thing is that J Jim and I both come from such different musical worlds that uh, we like a lot of different types of songs which is really cool because when we songwrite, you know, we're just, we're, we do a lot of different genres as a duo and so we bring a lot of that into our songwriting too. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this next song uh, was started, we wrote this next song in one week and uh, we're, we, should we tell the story? It was, a, it was the Cigar Box Project where um, Allison Fader organized a concert. Are you here tonight, Allison? Yeah. Yay! Hey. So Allison bought this beautiful cigar box and she um, solicited eight different musicians in town. You get it for one week. One week and you have to write a song, an original song, and it can't be something else you've been working on. It has to be brand spanking new because the idea is the instrument inspires the creativity. So we did that. I think we had this cigar box in February, is that right? Has it been that long? I don't know. It's like the months just blur. Anyway, so this, the backstory on this. Well, we, well is initially we were started writing a song. We, we wanted to write something encouraging, something sort of lovey, because you know we're all. It was a tough time, but then I came up with this sort of slide thing, and um, I started thinking about, like I don't like getting traffic tickets. Who does, right? Yeah. But right. I really like to drive. Fast, yeah, you know. So I've uh, I've a system. Do you want to hear it? Okay. Yes. <laughs> probably all everybody does this, right? But what I do is I look for um, maybe some young fella in a sporty car, and I follow him. Like I don't tailgate him, but just enough to kind of annoy him a little. And then when he takes off, I sort of stay with him, but not that far. So he feels like he's getting away, but. And but he's we'll, so funny because every time he's like, oh, I got a flusher. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and we get to do a buck 40 all the way to like Vancouver. Oh, man, it, it, I, I just feel like it's a personal win. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, this song is called, uh, it's flusher. called The Flusher. And I guarantee you now, the next time you find somebody ahead of you who's going real fast, you're going to be like, because it actually started with, uh, it's like a bird dog, right? But they also call it a flusher dog. So that's where the term flusher comes from. It's not a term that you necessarily made up. It's, no. it's, a, it's a real term, a flusher dog. Yep. 
The song's called The Flusher. Hope you like it.
sentimental I might just shed a tear When I see your car pull over As you receive your souvenir All right. Oh, can you believe we're almost finished our first set already? I mean, our first act. This is a theater show, right? We are in a theater. It was, it was a huge step to book this space, but I'm so glad that we did it. Um, oh, you guys, seriously. <laughs> seeing you all here, I mean... Uh, and for all of us, uh, all of those of you who are on um, social media, I know you're sick and tired of all the posts <laughs> about this show. I apologize. But you know what? If it got you here, it was <laughs> that was worth it. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was it was a big bite to decide to do this. But we've put together the best team, and I just wouldn't have it any other way. This is just so awesome to have you all here. So we're going to step into our last song, and um, our last song uh, took us longest to record in the studio because there are a lot of layers to it, and, and it took a while to sort of figure out what this song had to be. Um, it's based on a metaphor that Jim and I have often talked about, you know, being a second marriage for both of us. We brought a lot of weeds into each other's garden. Yeah, because you sort of bring two gardens together. And, uh, you know, I think when you see your dandelions growing over there, you should pull them out. And this is a daily thing, you know, where you kind of check in with each other and it's like... Well, because when you plant a garden together, you have to kind of collectively decide what your goals are as a couple. And, you know, like we... And I mean, I'm talking about a relationship metaphor, but, you know, with a garden, it's like, okay, what do we want to plant and how do we go about doing it? And, you know, creating a life together is the same thing. So, so we were thinking about a fictional character. And I think it all started really with that garden metaphor, but also I could just see the music video in my head and I still can this dusty farmhouse and it's all in black and white and something that's been kind of neglected for several years and the story's about a man who put love's tools away and then a woman comes into his life and he decides one last time to fall in love to to try to try and he gets his garden tools out and plants the garden with her and it doesn't work out well you're not supposed to tell them that. Okay. That's the best part. So now it's spoiled. But okay, spoiler alert. Yeah, it doesn't go great. <laughs> song is called <laughs> Cut, Cut Flowers.
a wasteland where nothing grew no more. My withered soul was dry as the sand that flew outside my door. So I put love's tools away. I locked them tightly in. Well, they're old and they're no damn good. Won't ever need them again. Never need them again. Never need them again. Won't ever need them again. Mist from the plane, her smile warmed my heart. Those withered roots, they grew again. We sank in the sunshine, danced in the wind, had our own private Eden without any sin. I believed again, I believed again, I was believing again. Oh, I believed again. dancing in the garden it just started to pour rain you didn't care you were soaked to the skin laughing and dancing and so goddamn beautiful what choice did I have I let you in I fell in love with you I'm such a fool I gave you everything I guess I was probably so like that cold September morning when I sat and watched you go. I went out into that garden with tears in my eyes. Cut everything down to the ground, a tribute to your lies. Threw those tools away on the ground in the rain. I'm never gonna need them again. I'll never need them again. There in the hall, fragile and perfect, and they wither and fall. Dead flowers there on the table, find me of you. I keep them there to remember.
ready? Keeping you guessing. So I hope you all had a great intermission. Did you buy any of our swag, any of our merch? Isn't that fun stuff? Like, I gotta tell you, like, uh, I love merch when we ever, uh, when we go to see shows. And I'm always like super annoyed when the merch sucks. So I said to Jim, we're not gonna do hats and shirts because I don't think our tribe wants hats and shirts. We've got enough of them. So we, we tried to find useful things that you could actually use, like things for booze. And just so you know, that song, Here's to You, Here's to Me, those, uh, those uh, shot glasses are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to start again, act two. Um, hopefully that's good. So, um, this next song uh, is called uh, You're My Valentine Every Day of the Year. And, you know, on the surface, it's about trying to find a card. But on a much deeper level, it's about a couple who, um, or a partner, which would be me, um, who's just really grateful to have such a wonderful partner. And, you know, we've been through uh, really great things in this life together, that we, and we've been through the very, very worst that we ever thought we'd have to endure. And, you know, we did it together. And when you're in a great partnership, the good things are better, but the bad things are bearable. So this song is, uh, is really, it's really my love song to my husband and uh, just expresses the gratitude I have for what he's given me. Ready? Right, right from the start Your love has healed my heart You're my valentine Every day of the year I look for a card today Apologize or say things left unsaid. Our love just seems so minimized by the hokey cards I read. A cartoon heart could never say or touch what's come to be. The love that I feel every day when you look at me. What did I do right to bring you to my? I bless the rocky road that brought us here. It was right, right from the start. Your love has healed my heart. You're my Valentine every day of the year. have come. We were two broken hearts that healed together as one. Building a life together one day at a time. We're finally free of the past we left behind. How could 
I find that on a card A poem just won't do To thank you for the life we have For all that we've been through What did I do right To bring you to my life I bless the rocky road That brought us here it was right, right from the start Love has healed my heart You're my valentine Every day of the year the show just to see Bob. <laughs> All right, so Jim's jacket lasted one song. My wife bought it for me. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. See? The flower thing. We got a theme going on. All right, so switching it up is something completely different. See, we, we tried to surprise you when we created this set list. Just when you think you got us locked in as, oh, they write this kind of song, we're going to be like, no, no, we don't. We write a lot this one, too. Now, this song is called Everybody's Normal Till You Get to Know Them. <laughs> now, it's a funny thing. Um, as we, you know, as we get to know people, we spend time with them, have several drinks with them, you discover that every single one of us is a little bit weird. You know, we all have our, yeah. We all have our, and, and I mean, when you find somebody where your crazy matches are crazy, it's, it's a beautiful thing. But the truth is, you really can't judge anybody else because there's a line in the song that, you know, when you find yourself looking at somebody wondering what to say, they might be looking back at you the very same way. Mm -hmm. so, um, so a couple of these verses are written about people we actually know. Um, we will never reveal who they are. But they, Secret's safe with us. Yeah, but they both This know is what are. happens when you talk to songwriters, though. There's nothing sacred. There's nothing safe. So... The song, uh, yeah. But it is, it is at the end of it, at the end of the day, it says like we're all weird, so uh, there's no judgment whatsoever. You ready? I am. <laughs> We spoke to anyone We thought it would be good If she came out and had some fun Now she's twerking on a table With her shirt in her hand For the party she came to And she got herself dead A bit of distance Can take you pretty far Cause when you get too close You see the best we all are The closer you get There's a lot of things to show up it's normal till you get to know them. Well, I got a friend, pretty straight up guy. Till we worked our way through half a bottle of rock. He said the world is a rat by a reptilian shapeshifter. We look online and see all the pictures. He said, Come on, brother, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, he looked me in the eye and he said, you just wait and see. A little bit of distance can take you pretty far. Cause when you 
get too close to see the best we all are. The closer you get, there the lot of things you'll show up. Cause everybody's normal till you get to know them. Phobias, fixations, delusions, and fears often exposed with three or more beers. As I tell my head, there's a lot of cross wives to be pretend they don't exist like half a project. next song uh, it's actually pretty recent it's only a couple of weeks old um, it, we had all these country tunes and we didn't have one of those classic country just me in the bottle kind of songs and you know you know you know I'm talking you know it's like you won't hurt me when I fall off this bar stool kind of song right and um, uh, this song kind of came at me it's a, kind of a story of a guy who um, kind of gets blindsided in a relationship and he just has no idea, you know, he thought everything was fine. Turns out it wasn't. I keep on saying sorry, but I don't know what I've done. I keep looking back to find what went wrong, but there's no smoking gun. In all our years together, we always talk things through. But now it's like you slammed the door, you won't let me talk to you. I'm left in the dark. I don't believe it. Just the final here to keep me company. I'm left in the dark, and I can't conceive it. Walk away from me. The years we had together, they were like walking in the sun. Sure, we had our troubled times, but no more than anyone. The life we lived, the dreams we shared, now have all been torn apart. When you blindsided me, with a knife through my heart, left in 
It's all a big mistake. I pray to God that I will finally wake up. I'll finally awake. Tomorrow I'll be hurting. That's all that I can do. Seems that all is left, and all I am is just me missing you. I'm left in the dark. I don't believe it. Just a bottle here to keep me company. I'm left in the dark. My husband. Hey. Somebody want to get that? Um, okay. Kim made an announcement at the beginning of the show. We'll, we'll wait. Just go ahead. <laughs> oh, come on. Your timing is t People. My God, this looks like a setup. <laughs> All right. How many of you actually just checked to make sure that it wasn't you? So we're all addicted to our phones and, you know, I mean, I run my entire life off of my cell phone and, uh, you know, I rely on it for everything. So uh, we were in Bedeck and I like getting the little newspapers that say what's going on in the town. And I read an article when we were on holiday there five years ago called uh, about no, uh, uh, yeah, the risks of nomophobia. And so it's actually an, an actual psychological disorder. It's a real diagnosis. Seriously. Fear of losing your cell phone is an actual diagnosis for mental health. And yeah, we're not a neurotic culture at all, are no. we, you know? So uh, we thought, nomophobia, we should write a song about that. 
And uh, we wrote the lyrics to this in about an hour. Jim was driving the car. I was in the passenger seat writing. And I think we, we, we didn't change a word of this song. We wrote the whole song. Um, but we didn't have a melody for a while. But yes, the song is called I've Got Nomophobia. And the tagline is, it's getting, getting out, out of, of hand. hand. Get it? A lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff in like, this, guys. Yes. It's very cheeky. Another victim of an evil corporate plan. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Hey, get your cell phones out and give us a phone. Love. Simple as can be. Get hold of other people and they get hold of me. And then I started texting just in case they missed my call. My God, it was so easy then. He ended with a law. Love it, guys. Yeah, I love it. Before long, I could email. Got music on my phone. Checking news and traffic to find the best way home. And then came social media. It seemed like harmless fun. Endless hours of scrolling. My obsession had begun. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Can't live without my phone. I'm sure you understand. I'm just another victim of an evil corporate plan. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Quite a scare. Searching every pocket and finding nothing there. Racing back to where I was to find my precious toy. To hold it in my hands again. Unmitigated joy. Calls, texts, and emails, maps and banking too. Wikipedia settled arguments for you. News and information, politics and porn. It's the last thing that I touch at night and first thing every morn. I've got no So I bought the latest model with a bigger, better screen. Higher resolution and the camera is a dream. Gigabytes of memory, it's one damn sexy phone. I couldn't live without it now, cause then I'd be alone. Victim of an evil corporate plan. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Can't live without my phone. I'm sure you understand. I'm just another victim of an evil corporate plan. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Ah, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Keep them on. It's a flashlight. It's a compass. It's an alarm clock. It's a timer. Holds my photos. It's for when I feel socially awkward. Oh, yeah. It's for dating. Oh, while you're waiting. It's for banking. It's my personal assistant. Navigations. Negotiations. Book vacations. Some people even use it for mass. Oh, I've got no phobia. It's getting out of hand. Can't live without my phone. I'm sure you'll not Another victim of an evil corporate plan. I've got no more phobia. It's getting out of hand. Oh, before you turn them off, I would love to get a selfie with all of those lights behind oh, us, if you don't mind. This is such a cool view, guys. Oh, even more coming. You guys yeah, are awesome. Yeah, let's see your lights. Oh, yo, you literally... Thank you. Check it out on Facebook. It'll be there, like, <laughs> in an hour. Yes. I think we're going to leave you to the song. Yes, now for something completely different. We promised, remember? Um... 
so, yes, you will notice that the band just left the stage. I know. So uh, it seems like I'm the one who sings most of the ballads in this, in this band, and now is no exception. Um, this is a song that, uh, that I wrote thinking about the different stages of a relationship. And, you know, Jim and I are empty nesters now, um, but we weren't always. And, you know, I remember being a, a young married couple and having babies and what a crazy, chaotic, hectic time that was. And, you know, we visited our, our son and daughter-in-law in Victoria and saw them with a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And, and I thought about how important it is to take the time for each other, no matter what else is going on in your life, because ultimately you are the foundation of that relationship. So the song is called Finally, and I will be accompanied by uh, Mr. Bob Silversides on piano. So I can just sing the song. <laughs>
Thank you, Bob. And now for something completely different. This is audience participation time, I believe, is it we not? We need Jim? your help. We need your help with this. So you know how that last song was just such a sweet, you know, lovey song? <coughs> Relationships don't always go that way, do they? No. Nope. But there's always a point. There's a red flag you finally hit and you go, I'm done. That's, That's the line. And uh, I don't know about you all. I have a very slow burn. I'll take a lot of crap. <laughs> Too much. But then when that finally that line is crossed, I am done. And I'm done like forever done. Like there's just no going back. So this song is called Far Away the Hell From You. <laughs> and we need your help. So we need you to yell. And I, what I'd like you to do is when you yell it, you know, I do teach acting and, and have a background in acting. You have to draw on personal experience to really, yeah, to really feel be it. believable. You gotta so believe when, it. I want you to yell. Far away, away the, the hell, hell from, from you. you, like you mean it. And I want you to think about a moment when you cro that red line got crossed and you were like, that's it. So, so let's try we'll, it first. We'll say it and you say it. So we're going to go, far away the hell from you. Far away the hell from you. Far like, away the hell from you. Far away the hell from you. Okay, I don't believe you at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're being very polite. Remember, we're having this thing filmed. I want you to blow the frickin' roof off this joint. Let's do this. You ready? Okay. Okay. Far away the hell from you. Far away the hell from you. Right! Like that! Okay. Let's do it. So this is a Celtic stompy song. Call Far Away the Hell from You. Way the hell 
now, don't you feel better? <laughs> it's very cathartic, it's cathartic, don't you think? cathartic, yeah. Whew. <sighs> so. I can't, I can't believe, do we miss this song? I feel like this second act is just zooming right by. Man, oh man. We have a lot of people we need to thank. Um, you know, they say it takes a village. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. This is it. Wow. Wow. Looking at the set. You know, I mean, um, for, first of all, again, we've went through everybody's names in the band, but these guys, come on, can you get, have you heard a better band? Oh my God. You know. You know, the freakishly boyish Bob. Freakishly boyish. The very rugged Cyril. Mm-hmm. With the bottom end. Sexy Scotty. Woohoo! A good friend, Guy, who actually can play every instrument on the stage, if you believe it. He's, well, a, con- he's a serious talent. And the man had double pneumonia. He's been on antibiotics for the last couple days, so he is here. He's been sick, and he showed up. So thank you, Keith. We're all keeping our distance. (laughs) No hugs and kisses. Uh, We need to thank uh, Kim uh, Fournier, uh, our wonderful director who organized all of this, uh, the logistics of this show. It takes a lot of time and energy. She's up there, yes. And you, Henri, Kim. her husband, uh, who created all those backdrops that are so awesome. Yeah, right? And they just made the night so cool. Yeah. Love um, you guys so much. Light design by Vanessa Lomas up in the light booth. So talented. The lights are amazing. She is an award-winning so light designer, and uh, she's, she's just fantastic. Um, uh, and sound by Kyle. Seriously, Moore. you guys. Kyle Moore. He's the guy. We love him so much. Um, we bumped into him at Sam and Arm Roots and Blues, and we're like, what you doing Sunday the 18th? And he's like, what you got? I'm good. <laughs> so we, we're, we, we we're so lucky and blessed. Yeah, we uh, love you, man. Our video Seriously, guys, man. 100P, who've just been so fun. They followed us around all morning, and they came to rehearsals even. To, so yeah, we can't wait to see the video. Um, our lovely merch ladies, Angie and Lisa, thank you so you much for fantastic. organizing that table up there. And, uh, Jesus, oh my God, I'm so afraid I'm gonna forget some. Our backstage girls, thank Come you so on much. Out, you Come guys. on out, take a bow. Jaden and Sophia, thank you. You guys, you guys were are awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much, you two. And, um, and Nikki Harrison, of course, who took the, uh, the photo that we used on our album cover. She was supposed to be here tonight, but her mom is sick, and Qu- she yeah. couldn't come, so she sends her best. A yeah, quick story with Nikki. Um, we, were, we had a picture we put on Facebook, and well, she... I had taken a still of a video. And it looked okay. At a, with a setup that we were doing for this photo shoot, and then I, I put it on Prisma, like that app, you can make it look like a painting. So I thought it was kind of cool. It was, you know... Turns out it wasn't, that, it wasn't that cool. She sent me a private message. She's like, it hurts, it hurts my, my heart. heart. <laughs> hurts my heart to see what you're thinking about using. And we're like, so anyway, she, we met her at She dawn. said, I, you, we, we had to meet her on the west side at just past five in the morning. And those pictures were taken just as the sun came yeah, over? Yeah, yeah. So we're very grateful to her um, for donating those pictures. We tried to, to pay her. She's so beautiful. So if you and guys are actually, selling, actually, she if is a real a house, estate, She's a real estate agent now. Go and she's here. like, yeah. If you, if you know anyone who needs to buy or sell a house, I'll, put, I'll, I'll send them my Goes way. Here. Um, and on a personal note, um, I want to thank my mom, Eunice McMahon, who and Murray, who are here from Toronto, right there. Stand yeah, up, mom. Hand for Kim's folks here. So they just flew in this morning from Toronto, and. Uh, just love you so much, and um, you know she actually funded the very first recording attempt we made a while, quite a while ago because yeah. she believed in us. So yeah, thank you, Mom. We love you so much. Thank you both. And she's actually facilitated a few of those trips that we've enjoyed and uh, have written about. And um, we want to thank our friends Toy and Denise Oyelesi, um, who have yeah. encouraged us right from the beginning. Yeah, Toye has, uh, has been really the greatest friend of my life, and uh, we're friends at a point now where he will tell me things that only a friend could tell you, you know? Like, he'll walk up to me, and he'll look at me, like, with this stare, and he goes, I didn't believe you at all. <laughs> I didn't believe it. Nothing. But he knows, <laughs> you, but he knows you well enough, and he's right. Like, he's... Yeah. Doesn't pull uh, but you know, we, we, we all need you know uh, we all need to have a, a brother like that. I'm I'm thankful to have him. Uh, I, I love you, Toye. Yeah. 
All right. So back to the last song. Sorry that took so long, but you know, it takes a village. It really does. There were 20 people involved in putting this show on tonight. Uh, so there was a lot of a lot of help that we had. Um, this last song is is uh, based on a true story. And we, remember, I said. Um, Canada begins and ends with the sea, so the first song, The Lobster Fisherman, was from Bedeck, Cape Breton Island. This last one is from Salt Spring Island. All the way to the other side. Yeah. So we were visiting our friends Fiona and Dave. On, um, Dave has a 40-acre farm on Salt Spring. He's been in his family for generations. Lucky guy. <laughs> um, they, uh, but his dad passed away, and we were visiting them, and uh, his dad passed away quite a while ago, and, and Fiona goes, I need to buy another bottle of Crown for the creek. And I'm like, doesn't that seem huh? a little odd? Yeah, it seems like a tremendous waste of booze. <laughs> um, so we asked her about that. And uh, she mentioned that, uh, I guess that the family farm, it's been worked for generations. And there's one spot by the creek where there's this tree where I guess when his dad worked in the field, he would take a break under that tree, cool off in the stream. And, uh, and he Dave, hit, hit a bottle of whiskey there. Yeah, Dave has a bottle of whiskey hidden there. And when he wants to go have a drink with his father... He, com he communes with his he dad. He goes there. down and has a drink with his dad. Now, we heard that and we thought, oh, that's a that's country, a country song, song, man. All day long. You know. But nothing's ever straightforward when we write songs. So there's a rap in this country song. Country song yeah. with a rap in it. And the rap is based on a true story. Yeah. Again, another really good friend of mine, uh, Daryl, he's a um, strong German stock and, uh, you know, laughs only when he wants to kind of guy. Um, and, uh, but when his father passed away, he had no tears. His mother asked him, don't you have one tear for your father? He just, he, he just it wasn't there. And he, you know, just worked his way through it. And it was almost a year later when he was on the family farm helping his mom. He was actually planing a door. And his dad was a woodworker. And um, I guess when he was playing it, planing it, he made a mistake. And he yelled for his father. He said, you know, dad, because he knew his dad would help him. And it was that instant where it all came to him, you know, and... And uh, he was able to grieve, yeah. but it took a long time. It so took a year. So, this, so his story is in this song, but it's a, com it's a combination of two different stories. So yeah. the song is called, Here's to You, Here's to Me. And feel free to sing along with the chorus here. <laughs> here's to you, here's to me. Is to our lives and to those we leave Is to the past and what may be Here's to you Here's to me When the world's closing in There's so much to do And I don't know where to begin I walk down to the stream Where we laid you to rest And have a drink with my dad And get the weight of my chest Now, the path is worn I know it well Through the orchard Where that old maple fell Dumped by the stream where you would sit down and think And where you hit that bottle of whiskey And you'd sneak a drink and you'd say Here's to you, here's to me Here's to our lives and to those we need Here's to the past and what may be Here's to you Before I could cry 
kept all that sadness bottled inside. Said it was fine every time that I lied. Well, it's back at the farm, working late one night, trying to fix that door that would never close right. Without even thinking, I called out to you. I realized you're gone and my heart broke too. Well, I knelt on that floor, bowed by the weight of a year's worth of pain, followed by faith. Never again would I hear you say, you got this, son, in that fatherly way. Well, I don't know how long I spent on that floor when the tears finally stopped. I fixed that damn door. I kissed mom goodnight. As I drove home with your voice in my heart, I knew I wasn't alone. a whiskey to share but now I'm the one that hides it down there I'm watching the farm and I take good care of mom maybe one day when I'm gone I'll have a drink with my son and he'll say here's to you here's to me here's to our lives and to those we to the past and one may be here's to you here's to you here's to me here's to our lives and to those we leave here's to the past and one may be here's to you You know, I just thank you guys uh, so much, man. This is just my, my heart is full. Bucket moment. And do you know, um, before we start into uh, into this song, uh, I, I neglected to mention the lovely Sean Boss, who is taking photos of us. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. And uh, Sean has a medical aesthetics clinic that I go to all the time to get my face done. She does amazing things. And I think she also does corporate headshots too. So if you need to get your headshots spruced up, go ask Sean. All right. Now, this this is another very new song. And uh, I should also mention Miles from EI Kelowna. And nice to see you, is, brother. That is Kelowna's uh, Kelowna's entertainment website. So uh, he'll have a photo or two up on that of us, and that's where you go to check out anything that's going on in town. So yeah, Miles has I'm got sorry, the I line. forgot the two people who are like literally right, right up in front, in front of, of my face. 
Um, this song is brand new, like it's only a couple weeks old. Um, I wrote the lyrics to this when I was sitting out in the backyard having a cup of coffee early. Well, in the I was morning. still in bed, actually. Well, I get up a little early sometimes. I don't. No, like never. So I, I, I usually get an hour or two um, by myself in See, the morning. I, I'm good with mornings if they're just later in the day. It's true. Um, so, you know, we sang at a few weddings this summer, and uh, a couple of them were blended families, and yeah. one of them in particular, there was some real awkwardness um, between the, the daughter who was getting married and the father, and uh, she, she, you know, struggled to find a dance to do with him. And there was just this really weird vibe between them at the wedding, and, and, and it made me think, you know, blended families are difficult, and they can be. So I thought, you know, there aren't that many songs where a mother gets to sing to one of her children and say, don't make the mistakes that your father made. And so <laughs> this is a mother singing to her son. And uh, the, uh, yeah, it's just her advice to him. I won't say anything else because it's a country song. It is brand new, so be, be nice. You looked so handsome in your rented suit, staring deep into her eyes, saying words your father once said to me when it was all so sweet and nice. It's hard to imagine those sleepless nights and the times you're bound to fight. So here's some words I'd like to share. Let me give you some advice. Don't take her love for granted. Don't let her sleep alone. Don't keep your feelings to yourself. Don't accuse when things go wrong. Don't reach for a drink instead of a kiss. Don't take it out on the kids. Don't make her wish she never met you. Don't do what your daddy did. a stranger whose touch is cold as stone reach out across the sea of sheets and pull her close to you the life raft's been there all along and love will see you through don't take her love for granted don't let her sleep alone don't keep your feelings to yourself don't accuse when things go wrong. Don't reach for a drink instead of a kiss. Don't take it out on the kids. Don't make her wish she never met you. Don't do what your daddy did. Just no map to navigate the waters you'll go through. The storms and tides that are bound to rise, that'll knock the fight out of you. But every wave gives you the chance to take a breath and soften your voice. To wade together through those tides. To make a better choice. Don't take her love for granted. Don't let her sleep alone. Don't keep your feelings to yourself. Don't accuse when things go wrong. Don't reach for a drink instead of a kiss. Don't take it out on the kids. Don't make her wish she never met you. Don't do what your daddy did.
But we, it's a sad song. We can't leave you on a sad note. So we got to bring the band back One out. more song, guys. One more song. And it'll be very interesting to see what Don't Do What Your Daddy Did turns into in the recording studio because you know a second album's coming. We did five songs tonight that are not on that first album. So uh, that was number six. So, yeah. And this one's number seven, I think. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? I think, uh, I think that could happen. I love the theater, you know? Like, we play in a lot of bars and wineries and things like that. And for some reason, you put a table in front of people and it's just a license to talk. And I just love what a great audience you guys have been. Thank you for listening. And thank you for all the love. We, we feel it. We feel that. That feeds us, that energy. All right. So this last song is about a man who lives life on his own terms. The title of the song is I Just Can't Do As I'm Told. This uh, is loosely based on many of my friends back in my hometown of Kitimat. Has anyone ever been to Kitimat? Yeah. It's a great place to be from.
table and we don't want to pack that shit up so please please buy something on your way out thank you Just you and me. 